Well, I guess you do look good in orange. It's not like it. It's not like it's, it's been color changed three times in a row, right? Comic and then movie and now cartoon. I, I, I'm just saying I don't know. Uh, well, welcome to Bo TV, and we are back again with another recap. This time it is on hunting season. Now they kind of replace the word open and put hunting in the word hunting season and replaced it with well you get my reference so yeah pretty cool uh title god you could have called this open season and it would have been fine so anyway so this episode is basically about two bounty hunters that come to earth when it's not about one septicon who would have thunk and we first get introduced to Fracture. He is the brand new bounty hunter Decepticon in the series, and he is apparently playing a role where he has to find, he has to get a bogey on Bumblebee's head and bring it back. Hmm, where have I heard this before? I, I, I don't know. So I don't know. I mean, it, it, he looks cool. I mean, he is he kind of is pulling a sound wave on us. He can do the deploying gimmick. He has too many cons. Um, I forget their names. I'm so sorry. But they look kind of cool. They're little, like little gremlins. And they're so tiny and they're so cute. And they're like so tiny and they're so devious inside also. So there's that. And the other one we get introduced to is Drift. Drift is in the series and he is in orange now. This is like his third time he's gotten a color change. He was first in the IDW comics as white, then he went into Age of Extinction in blue, and now he's in the cartoon orange. What's is he pulling a? Is he doing a Gamora on us? Is he doing a? The actor who plays Gamora, I forgot her name. Uh, Zo Zo Zoe Zalanda, is that what her name is? Zoe Zalanda, whatever her name was, is she pulling that girl? Is she doing? Is he doing that? Is he gonna be pink next, or is he gonna be purple? Oh, wait, actually, well, purple, well, that will never happen, right, Shattered Glass? But, you know what, the look of him looks pretty cool, I, he's, you know, he kind of has this look from the movie, he kind of has that body structure, um, he is, his face is completely different, he has this little motat mustache, like Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and... He is also looking for Bumblebee because the High Council has requested Drift to go, you know, get a bounty on Bumblebee. And this is kind of weird to me because wouldn't Jazz at this point tell the High Council? Because remember the last episode, or two episodes ago, sorry, it was that Jazz told Bumblebee, don't worry, I will go to the High Council, I will tell them that everything's cool, that you're just here to help the Earth, to defeat the Decepticons. All that. So, did the High Council just say, like, right there? Did they basically just say, eh, screw it, we're gonna go send a bounty, just in case, you know, just in case he changes his motives, you know. Because, cartoon. So, you know what? It's, they're cool designs, I like, the, I like them both. Drift also has deployers, and these ones I actually remember, they're Jetstorm and Slipstream. Um, okay, I mean, they look cool. I like the, the look of them, and, you know, it's pretty nice. Um, after Drift, after Bumblebee helps Drift, Drift is like, he goes into like, full on loyalty to Bumblebee. He's like, I will protect you, I will serve you, I will do whatever you ask. And there's this one scene which is so cool, he literally, like, like Fracture like sends in a, a few like, little flies. To scope out the base where Bumpy is, and Drift is standing guard of Bumpy, and all of a sudden he takes his sword and kapow! He just hits one of those flies, and he literally shows the Bumpy. He's like, "Hey, look, look what I got! You see, see, that's that's skill right there. That's skill." He just uh, that's just so cool just to see it. This is really nice, and it just shows that hey, even though he's serious, he has a little humor to him. I don't know if he counted his humor, but who knows? But anyways, we, we all know how what, what ends up. The good guys end up saving the day and all that. And then, you know, Drift, does a, Drift pulls a jazz. He says, I will come back soon. So, 
So, overall, this was a pretty good episode. I liked the introduction of Fracture and Drift. Fracture is still on Earth, so maybe we'll see him. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll see him in the next episode, because they kind of spoiled it. I'm just saying. So, that is it for this episode. I kind of... I liked it. I'm little, I'm really looking forward to next week's episode because I've I heard about it and they said you better watch it because it's gonna be pretty cool, and I cannot wait to see it. So that's it for this episode. What did you guys think of Hunting Season or Open Season or Open Season Two, or Open Season Three? And how do you guys like the new drift? And how do you like the new Fracture being a bounty hunter who is trying to get the head of Bumpy and returning it back to someone? wonder who that might be so that's it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed it so remember next week we'll be reviewing the next episode and that's it for it that's it now uh, we need to talk about some tf5 news and after that let's get our freak on